Whose league season 10? It's dinosaurs with a side of eggs laid by dinosaurs. And hey, look, it's just playing dinosaurs. Vinyl's got bug butts on his dinosaurs. Whiz feeds word soup to his dinosaur. And a new guy, fishy, playing dinosaurs. Ace this dinosaur is indestructible. Bo has got a horde of fucking flying dinosaurs. Kink is monkey teamed up with the dinosaur. G Man is Chris Pratt who loves his dinosaur. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Whose League Is It Anyways? The best Commander League game show on the internet where things made up in the points are the only thing that matters, and in the season. 10 finale we have ptw wiz ptw kink aces attorney and ptw g man how is everybody doing doing excellente well if you're new around here who's losing anyways we build decks every season of different restrictions and this season was the season of the dinosaurs with a side of eggs but that's enough about the rules let's just kick it over to ptw vo to find out who's winning and not so winning going into the season finale of season 10 we got Bo out in front with 32, followed up by Def with 29. Then we got Kink <laughs> with 28, Wiz with 27, uh, Aestis and Vinyl with 24 and a half. And coming up three, we got G Man and Fishy with 24. Whoopie doo! Very close. Well, don't forget to stick around till the end of the match chat because we have the voting, which, uh, you know, if you don't know, you can affect the points. And also, uh, every season at the end of the season, the season totals get changed up a bit because there are bonus stars. Just like Mario Party, everything is fucky here. The rules don't matter. Without further ado, Simon, you won the roll beforehand. You are on the play. You may proceed when ready. Good game, everyone. Well, I mean... Does anybody have any pregame? No. Oh, okay. Then. I'm gonna play a forest and play a veteran explorer. Oh my Ooh. fuck! Dino Mountain and pass. Draw. Evolving wilds. Crack it. Go get an island. Pass. Alright. Draw. Right. Play a plains. Pass turn. Untap and draw. I'll yeah, play a swamp and I'll play an egg. Dinosaur egg. egg. I'll hit guitar man for one. You will regret this, sir. Uh... Oh, sorry. I'll pass it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna untap. I didn't mean nothing by it, sir, I swear. Play a forest. Pass. Untap. Draw. Do a forest. And pass. Alright, draw. Play another planes. Tap two. For a mind that howls. Oh, nice. I will pass my turn. Thank you. Untap. And draw and draw a howling mine card. Miss a land drop even with the extra land, but I am gonna cast a far seek to make up for it. Go get an island. And I will hit Kink for one. I was gonna hit Aestus, but he helped me. What's happening? And then I'll pass. Alright, I'm gonna untap and draw a tree. Oh, and tree. Pass and we're gonna discard. Draw. Play a mountain. And pay three for Owen. Pass the turn and discard Myriad Landscape. Alright, untap. Draw twice. Play a planes. Tap two. For a Raptor Companion, tap one. For a Weathered Wayfarer. And pass turn. Untap. And draw. I will swing Veteran Explorer at Aestus for one. I will block with a Raptor Companion. Alright, everybody go get two lands. Get two forests. Help uh, player man. points. Tap two for a Thought Vessel. No. And then tap three for Mighty Emergence. Whenever a creature with power five or greater comes into play under my control, I may put two 1-1 one -one counters on it. Um, that's all I got. I'll pass turn. All right, then I'm gonna untap and draw and draw. What turn are we on? Four? This is turn four. So far, I'm pretty sure. See. I'm just asking for you know relevance. We're gonna play uh, a tree. We'll tap six. 
Koglin Yudaro at his points because he's going to come in and he is going to fight. And we are going to fight Owen. Monkey, grab Owen, throw him in the back of Dinosaur Spike. I have to discard. Get rid of Brash Tauner. That's rough choice. Pass turn. I'm tip. Draw. Draw. Forest. Pay. Six. For my, my Kogla and Yodaro. Oh my god, that's and my commander. I'm going to choose fight as well. And I'm going to have my Kogla fight you your dare. Kogla. You son of a bitch. Monkey Fight Club. And tap. Draw. This way planes. You know, tap three. Play an extra planar lens, exiling of planes. Then I'll tap four to play a gleaming barrier and a zenith chronicler. That's a helpful player card. Have a planes and a weather wayfarer, and then we'll use that to grab a planes. You have an extra planar lens over there? I do have an extra planar lens over here. Mm -hmm. Boys, I got a problem with that. I think we're looking at Zatalpa next turn. It's a possibility. I'll reveal the planes, and I will put it into my hand. I'd even call it an inevitability. Pass. Untap, and draw, and draw again. Play a swamp. I will tap five to cast Indominus Rex Alpha. There's a trigger. I will discard a Venom Thrope, so I will get some words. You cast a multicolored spell. Everybody else can draw. I'll draw to that. I will draw to that. We'll get flying, death touch, and hex proof. I'll get two 1 1 counters. And my dinosaur egg will evolve. And I'll draw five cards. I'll hit king for one. Bonk. Oh my Jesus. Smacking you with my egg. A mighty egg bonk. End step, I will go to discard. I will discard three cards. Ornithopter, a Gurmag Swiftwing, and a Copper Host Crusher. On tap. And draw. Draw. We're going to play Mountain. I'm real sad now because, like, my monkey cost eight, and this is only seven. I don't yeah. Know if you guys counted that. that. I did count that, and that's why I chose to do what I did. So I guess I'm going to tap three for Colossal Majesty. Uh, Heard of it. At the beginning of oh, my boy. upkeep, if I control a creature with power four or greater, I will draw a card. We're just going to go ahead and at sorcery speed play Appetite for the Unnatural. So destroy target artifact or enchantment and gain two Ooh. life, a.k.a. monkey eat artifact. And we're going to get that extra planar lens. You've only slowed me down a small measure. Mountain okay. four for blue. And he also draws a card. Three for Frillscar Mentor I'll draw and that. put a Minache counter on blue. It's a turn. And that. Draw with planes. Tap three for a Kanjali Sunwing. Ooh. Everybody hated that. I hate it that you destroyed my lens. Tap three more for a chimeric egg. That's an egg. Yeah, this is an egg. Egg, 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 egg. Last turn. On your end step, I think Guitar Man needs a little knee capping. So I'm going to cast Master's Rebuke in Target Blue and have my commander bite with Death Touch. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I know. It's definitely a feels bad moment. But I don't want your whole board having menace. Here's a swamp. I will tap a swamp and a thought vessel for an oversold cemetery. On my upkeep, if I have four or more creatures in my graveyard, I may return one of the creatures from my graveyard to my hand. And then I'm going to tap three for a skull winder. Who wants some, some stuff from their graveyard? Does anybody want to, like... Offer a deal? Does anybody really want this ability? Okay, let me make you a deal not. right now, my friend. Okay. You let me get my extra planar lens back. Mm hmm. Whoa. And until the situation <laughs> is different on the board. <laughs> Interesting. Caveat? Well, I mean, if you start swinging at me, I have to do something. But, like. Okay. 
Yeah, I you will, get it. I will, I will deprioritize you. You get it. I got it? Yes. I'm going to put Venom Throat in my hand. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to hit kink in the air for eight commander damage. Jesus Christ. I'll pass my turn. Untap and draw tree. Yes, tap eight. And here come the monkey, 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 monkey. My commander's a monkey, 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 monkey. We're going to have it fight, I reckon. Uh, cause it's gotta come in tapped, so haste isn't gonna matter. We're gonna have it fight that Kanjali Sunwing. Quit making me come in tapped. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I will draw to that, though. Nine cards in hand, I have to discard two, which also makes me sad. Discard Kalani Territory and Infectious Bite. Pass turn. Um, tap. Draw. Draw. Five. Olin. Well, they go as well. Everybody else draw a card. I'll draw to that. Hey. Two for Legion Keratin. Just as an FYI for everybody, next turn is turn seven. No way. Grilled turf for land and bounce to do a mountain back to my hand. One, two, three, and I'm going to have to discard stuff. Pass the turn and discard a mountain and a mountain because I'm a madman. I don't need lands. Untap. Draw. All right, let's play a planes. Three. Exile planes. Four extra planar lens. Let's tap two for a gold mirror. Tap two for a mask of Avison. Let's tap two for a Cathar commando. I will pass my turn. On your end step, I'm going to tap two and I'm going to cast it to Fairy's Time Twist. Okay. Oh, I had to do this at combat. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, that sucks, actually. Okay, so I will exile my commander. It will come back on my end step with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. Oopsie. Untap four creatures in my graveyard. So on my upkeep, I will put Veteran Explorer back in my hand. Then I will go to draw, and we're still drawn two. Play a forest. And I'll tap said forest for a veteran explorer. I will tap two and play a barroom brawl. And I will have my egg fight Kogla. Kogla, would you like to fight something? So it has to be something of G-Man's, right? Yep. I know you want more you commander better. attacks. I'm just going to fight Owen for you. You're welcome. Yeah. Guitar Man, would you like to fight something of Aces? I'll have Frill Scar Mentor uh, fight one of your one ones. Uh, would you like to have something, fight something of mine, Aestus? Like my veteran explorer? I would like to have oh, something fight your no. veteran explorer. Uh, okay, then I will have my Skullwinder fight Kogla. So Skullwinder will fight Kogla, and you will have no creatures, so that will end it. So everybody go get two lands. Excuse me, is that because Skullwinder has death touch? That is. Uh, yeah. fuck you. That's totally fair. I'm we'll just giving you forest. another ETB, dude. We'll do a forest and an island. My egg is dead. Discover four. It's going to be a prize fight. That's cool. Can't cast it. I will tap three for arranging raptors. Whenever it's dealt damage, I may search my library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tapped, and shuffle. I will go to my end step. I will get Indominus uh. Rex. I will get two counters from the... Uh, Mighty Emergence, I will get two counters from, or one counter rather, from the Teferis. So it'll come in with three. I will discard Venomthrope and Ramonamp Hydra. It will get Flying, Death Touch, Hexproof, Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. And I'll draw nine cards. When did this turn into the keyword war? It always has been. Pass my turn. Fuck you. Untap, draw, draw. Four wrist and ten. Kogla and Yidaro. Monkey. Heard of it. Monkey Everybody else draw a card. And... All right, we're going to have it fight something. You can kill my gleaming barrier and give me a treasure token. I'll take that. No, I don't want to give you a treasure. What do I get for giving you a treasure token? What do you want? I want Simon's commander to die. Hmm. 
That conflicts with a previous agreement, so I'm afraid that won't work. Well, you said until oh, well, something nice on the board you. changes. Things have changed well, now. I mean, you could weasel out of that agreement. That's not, you know... I could, but in the spirit of the agreement, I feel... Mm. Uh, G-Man, is there something Good you want me to fight to... if you kill Wizard's Commander? Wait, what? Do you have something to get rid of Wizard's Commander? I could fight something for you. I, I would have if people didn't keep on killing my board. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I did that to you. I'm offering you a deal now. <laughs> this but is if you don't have anything be. to offer in exchange, I'll go about my way. I don't have anything that can do... I'll fight the Zenith Crawl and the Chronicler because I'm tired of drawing cards and having to discard. You get to draw too. I know. That's all I'm saying. I'm tired of it. Do many draws. This man's insane. <laughs> Last turn. We got a discard now. Draw. Draw. Cinderglade comes in untapped. Four. Gorkal. Heard of her. Four. Blue. Tap. Phyllis Inherited for two. Five. For Charging Monstrosaur. That's a spooky name. <laughs> it's got Trample and Haste, and it's a five five. That's pretty cool. We'll swing my five five. Trample hasty boy over at Texas. I will remove three counters off of this Kimmerick egg. Turn it into a 6-6. Six, six oh, jabated. And then we'll... Chimeric egg, uh, baby! Yeah, we'll just double Ooh. block with... Bye-bye, charging monstrous or. Oh my god, the egg jabate. <laughs> that might That's be egg. splashy as blight. Your move, Aces. Okay, that goes back to being an artifact. Untap. Draw, draw. Whatever, I'll get most commander tags again. Flames eight. Get the Tapa on the board. Or have one left over to equip the Tapa with the Mask of Avison. Has plus one, plus two, and hexproof. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. It's probably fun. Two more makes three. I use one of that to play a Basil's Collar, and then two to equip it to the Tapa. That's not good. Add death touch and life link to the keywords past turn. On my upkeep, I have at least four creatures in my graveyard, so I'm gonna grab a skull winder and put it in my hand. You guys like how I'm playing eggs, snakes, and dinosaurs? It's pretty pretty sweet. It's very reptilian over here. We'll draw two cards, play a swamp, and tap three. For a skull winder, I will give it to King. Me, 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 yes! Maybe, maybe something that destroys artifacts. Totally, dude. This one <laughs> has an appetite for the unnatural. I'm going to grab a Teferi's Time Twist. I will tap four, cast a My Master Biomancer, and then I will tap a Forest and a Swamp for a winding constrictor and it will come in with three counters so it will have five power so it will come in with another three counters whoa that's a big snake guitar man yes you are gonna get arranging raptors it is a two oh. three and when it is dealt damage i go get a land and i think kink you're gonna take another nine commander in the air i think Oh, that's not very cool, man. I thought we were friends. No. We just got, like, you know, Skullwinder together. Yeah, I, I gave you a cool thing, though. Yeah, I guess, but it's going to help you when you're smacking me for nine. That doesn't feel I know, very I know, good. I know, I know, I know. Lock your 2-3 with Frill Scar. Scar I'll go get there, a land. Which is a 3-2, so your thing will die. I will pass. All right, we're going to un... Tap, draw. And draw even, because Howling Mind still. Mountain. Oh shit, I actually draw because I finally have, you know, Colossal Majesty happen. My dude survived a turn. Tapping two. We're going to attempt to sweep and cleave. Uh oh. God. What the monkey doing? Target the monkey. Classic. Get double strike until end of turn. <laughs> okay, axe is going to okay. go on an adventure. We are going to tap three to bring the axe back from its adventure. It had a good time, but now it's back monkey is going to find the axe, and they're going to have a good time together. Then, so what are we looking at? Is that 14 power double strike? Yes. Go to combat. Declare attackers. Okay. We are going to declare Kogla at wizard. Sure. No blocks? No, I'm going to block. Oh. 
you doing anything well, before just, we go to blocks? Sure. No, we can go to blocks. Uh, yeah, I will block with Skullwinder and Indominus Rex Alpha. Both of them have Death Touch. Okay. Do you have any responses before damage? Um, yes, I do. I'm going to tap one, and we are going to play Tameo Safekeeping. And Target Permanent will get Hexproof and Indestructible until the end of turn, being my monkey. Hmm. Well, in response, I will tap a Forest and a Swamp. And I will prize fight Indominus Rex with the monkey, and I will make a treasure. Well, I guess that's not how I wanted this to play out, but the end result is the same. So. Kinda. I'm gonna let this happen. I make a treasure and fight. Yep. And our guy's gonna die. Fizzle no target. Axe fall off. Your guy die. Mission accomplished. My other fear is this giant dinosaur, and everybody knows I can destroy the thing making it hexproof, but I just want to know who's going to save me from it killing me if I make it unhexproof. That's what I want to know, because no I only got four mana open, so one of you, <laughs> if, you oh want, if you want to be able to target this, you better tell me right now you got my back, or I'm just going to let it run wild. Nobody can save you. And we're passing turn. Draw. Draw. A mountain for land for turn for for slippery bog bonder. ETB oh, yeah. enters the battlefield, put a hexproof counter on target creature, then move any number of counters from among creatures you control. That part doesn't matter onto that creature. But the hexproof counter, that doesn't matter. It's sure going does. on blue. Seven. Oh one. We'll pay two for belligerent yearling. Which will also come in with hex proof. I can hit kink. I have four sword to plowshare mana. Blue is hex proof, so <laughs> I'll just swing blue at you for five commander kink, and then I will pass turn. Let's untap. Draw. Play a planes as land for turn six. I'm gonna use that to play a tempt with glory. What'd that do? I'm gonna put a plus one plus one counter each creature I control. Each opponent may put a plus one plus one counter each creature he or she controls, but for each opponent who does, I put a plus one plus one counter each creature that I control. Pass. Oh, Don't do it, Guitar Man. It's gonna hey, he took the candy! Huge, dude. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's gonna um, get really big. If but I... the counter! <laughs> you fucking idiot! No! It's only two, so That's kind of get... what his whole deck is about. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's gonna get two plus one plus one counters. It's fine. That's manageable. Holy shit. All right. You do what you gotta do. I think no matter what, I'm not going to be the one that gets to kill you, Kink. Well, I don't think anyone should kill me. I'm not <laughs> even a threat right now. You guys should all be fighting each other. I don't know why everyone's why are we even me talking up? about this. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm thinking you're just barely out of reach. Also, four swords, plowshare mana. Let's take three counters. I'm gonna make Chimeric Egg a creature. We'll swing at Kink with the top of the Primal Dawn and a Chimeric Egg. Chimeric Egg is a 6-6. Six, six. The Zatalpa is a Last seven. chance for uh, someone to offer to kill the Zatalpa when I take the mask off of it. If I could, I would. G-Man? Same. Well, I'm going to, in response before damage, tap 3 to Appetite for the Unnatural, and we are going to target the Egg instead. He's a genius at this! <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. So I will I like take that. 14 and gain 2, so... 12 life and 14 commander damage. And I will gain 14. Let's tap two. I will sacrifice the Cathar Commando. Now we use that to destroy the axe just in case. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I didn't for... want it anyways. Then they're going to tap six, have one floating. I'm going to use that to play a slash the ranks, which is going to destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. <laughs> Now that I approve of. Flaming Barrier is going to go. We'll gain a treasure token. I have one floating. Tap two more to play a Lothlorian Blade. You realize this means war. <laughs> it's been war from the beginning, my friend. Untap, go to my turn. On my upkeep, I may get a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. I will grab, um, I don't know, fucking Skullwinder. Put on two. I will tap three for the Skullwinder. 
and allow kink to cast it as well. I will get a winding constrictor. What's in it for me if I get appetite of the unnatural and not the axe? Um, I won't attack you. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you alive to do it. Yeah, that How sounds about good. That? Seven, and I will cast my commander. It will enter with three counters for a mighty emergence, and I will discard Topiary Stomper, Ronus the Indomitable, Plated Crusher, and Vengeful Reaper, so it will get Death Touch, Indestructible, Vigilance, Trample, Hexproof, Flying, and Haste. This and because also of not okay? I will get two of each of those. So I will draw 17 cards. Damn. And I'll play a land for a turn. You should focus on not kink or me. What makes you say that? Because Aestis is scary. Yeah, but Aestis is my friend right now. I am. Okay. <laughs> this is a strange <laughs> world. I'll go to combat and I will swing at Guitar Man for nine in the air. Fuck you. And hey, Kink, you're still alive. That's cool. I'll pass turn. Cool. I'm going to untap and draw, draw, command tower. Has anyone figured out a way to kill the Talpa yet? I no. might draw into it. It has indestructible, Kink. I know. But I can get rid of, you know... Look, here's the thing. Like, you know what? Actually, fuck, you. fuck all of you. Also, he's my friend. All right, here's the thing. Simon, you've already made a deal to not attack me if I get rid of the thing given Zatalpa Hexproof. What else can I get from you if I just get rid of Zatalpa altogether? If you can do that, I mean, I won't attack you. For how long? I mean, well. I feel like it should be a very long time. You and Ace have been friends for a very long time on a very, you know, not good proposition. I just. I don't really want to make a plan against Aestis, considering how much Aestis can kick my dick in when... <laughs> well, now's the time. Now's the time to pick sides, my guy. You're either with me well, or against you're, me. You're, he's in the unfortunate position of going... All right. G-Man. Right, I'm, I'm Team Kink. I'm Team Kink. Let's go. I am able to deal with Zatalpa. What are you going to do for me so I don't die in return? I will break my deal with Aestis. Or not break the deal, but end the deal. I will pump as much damage through as I can. But uh, Okay, that sounds fine. It sounds like there's not a lot of resources out here. We're just the resistance. I'm going to tap three. Attempt to appetite for the unnatural. Monkey eat mask of Avison. Gain two life. Tap three. And play Scythe Claw Raptor. What's that do? So whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, it deals four damage to him. Oh, yikes. I don't like that. And I don't want to take four I damage, do. so I'm going to preemptively tap these three. And we're going to attempt to Chaos Warp's Talpa away. We'll obviously go back to the command zone and get played on his turn, but it won't have, like, haste and, you know, shit. So we get some yeah, time. That's, that's huge. Does. Reveal top card of your library, and if it's a permanent, you put it on the battlefield. I'm marching to a drone. I think we're just going to need one sword to flash our open. We're going to go ahead and tap three for an Agitator Ant as well. At the beginning of my end step, each player may two. Two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control and go to each creature that has counters put on it this way. We'll pass turn. Would anyone want those plus one plus one counters? Heck yeah, I would. I'll put three of them on my board. Okay. To, but that's going to goad it. I don't give a shit. Excellent. Counters. Pass turn. <laughs> I can put two counters on a duo drone. It makes no difference. And uh, draw, draw, game trail. Reveal this mountain, so it comes in untapped. You're going to tap Owen, put a haste counter on blue. Three, two, cycle sanctuary smasher, and put a first strike counter on blue. Draw as well, two green, two blue, one, and one. Soul of the Harvest, four. For egg, needle tooth raptor. It has enrage whenever raptor is dealt damage, it deals five. Damage to target creature and opponent control. All right, and it will come in with hexproof, three plus one plus one counters, haste, and first strike. And I will draw a card. Swing, needle tooth raptor for five at Aestis, and blue for eight at Aestis. I right, block with a duo drone on the commander. Best turn on that note. Draw two, play planes. Let's have two. Play a golden egg. Draw a card, 10, 
for the Tapa. I make a one, one dude four, and I'll float one to play a swift foot boots and equip it to the Tapa. I will use one and a treasure token. Oh boy, he's got haste. To put the baseless collar on and it. Four and have one floating. To play gauntlets of light, creature gets plus zero plus two and attacks with toughness rather than power. Or lower. And then I will attack four. You play Armored Ascension, Enchanting Zatapa, giving it plus one, plus one for each planes I control. Twelve is going to get plus twelve, plus twelve it is a twenty twenty-two. Someone's gonna die. Wiz, at this point, I believe that you represent the most possibly deleterious option on the board, and you have terminated our deal. So I will swing at you with Zatapa for 22 double strike. In response, I'm going to tap two and my treasure for three. And I will cast Ghostly Flicker. I will flicker my commander and a land. All right. My commander will come back. It will enter with three counters from Mighty Emergence. And I will discard... Oh, let's get all the words! I'll do Dire Fleet Ravager, Stonefoot Chieftain, Carvanista, and Nighthawk Scavenger. So it'll have... Death Touch, Indestructible, Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Kenneth. That is all. So I will draw 19 cards. Damn. I will tap two. And I will cast Planar Incision on Indominus Rex. I will exile it and return it to the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It'll get five counters. We're going to discard some cards. Vigilance, Indestructible... Flying Death Touch Lifelink, Hex Proof, Reach, Vigilance Menace, God. Haste, Drawing 23, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Kind of bad for you now, is it? And I'll draw. And I'll draw. It is annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Play a forest. Tap five. Play Seeds of Renewal. I can return up two card cards from my graveyard to my hand and exile Seeds of Renewal. We're gonna get back Chaos Warp and Appetite for the Unnatural. Right. We're just gonna let Aestus have the knowledge that I have those cards as I proceed with the rest of my turn. <laughs> Well, if you let me get, like, the points of killing a guy. You do whatever you want, bro. I'm just letting you know I have those cards. I think we're just going to pass turn on that. In step, would anyone like any agitator ant counters? You know, buddy. Excellent. Go to your creature. Aestas, would you like some agitator ant counters? Sure. Excellent. Go to your creature. Come on, tapping. Some drawing, command tower. We're gonna tap Owen, put a menace counter on blue. Have you tried drawing your entire deck? No, I can't, I can't do that, sir. We'll pay three for, is it lock it? Two for ancient animus. Put another plus one, plus one counter on blue. I will have it fight Cyclorector for pop, is it lock it? To draw two cards. Four for Hunted Troll. Uh, we'll give Tink four one one blue fairies. Okay, I take. Help a player. And we're going to go to combat. And we're going to swing blue, Soul of the Harvest, and Needle Tooth Raptor. All at Ace is 22 total coming at you. Okay, I will block blue with my 1-1 one, one soldier and Zatapa. I'll take 11 and then deal 44, so I gain 33. Pass, turn, and blue will die. Untap. Draw. Play a planes, land for turn. Six. To play a soaring sand wing. And gain three. And make a soldier. Four. Which I will use to play a harness to snub horn. And make another dude. Six. I'll leave one floating. I'll put the Lothlorian Blade on Zatalpa. Tattoo with one floating. I will move the Swift Foot Boots from Zatalpa 
over to the harness snub horn. I will then declare that I'm entering combat. I will swing Zatapa and the snub horn. GG. Zatapa will deal combat damage to the one blocking thing. Snub horn will get its damage through. When it deals damage, I can return an artifact or enchantment from my graveyard to the battlefield. I will return a Mask of Avison to the battlefield. I will then use a floating one and two more to equip the Mask of Avison onto Zatapa. I will then tap two more to put the Swift Foot Boots. Also on to talk In about. response, tap three, cast Appetite for the Unnatural, targeting the Mask of uh, Avacyn. And then on the stack for Appetite, I'm going to attempt to hold priority to Chaos Warp, your commander. My god, man, he's done it again. It's fine. He has to kill me this turn. The top will go back to the command zone, and a Rock Egg will enter the battlefield. Egg. You gave him point. That's you did give me points. Mindset. I like that. I will pass my turn. We're gonna untap and draw, draw. You could have so, saved me. I could have. You're right. Five. We are going to cast Regenesis Egg. Return two target permanent cards from the graveyard to my hand. We're gonna get the X. We'll get Brash Taunter. Seven. This is gonna be funny. To so play Colossification. Then we're going to choose to enchant a fairy. To make it a 2020 with flying. So one of my fairies is going to get tapped. We'll have three up for blocking still. Big flying fairy coming, you know, next turn. So uh -huh. yeah. let's go ahead and tap two. Let's do a barroom brawl. My 2020 fairy wants to fight something on your on your field, bro. What's your most valuable? Probably my harness and the horn. Dead. Sad? Are you sad? Not especially. Uh oh. Dang. Find something on my field? Sure. I'll have the Soaring Sandwing fight the not gigantified fairy. Okay, I lose a fairy. All right, pass turn. Untap. Draw 12. I think he's a top of back on the board again. I'm just going to make another dude. Let's tap six to put Swift Foot Boots back on Zatapa with Lathlorian Blade. Tap two to equip Baseless Collar. Tap. Four, leave one floating to play a Territorial Hammer Skull, which is going to make another dude. Play a plane to the land for turn. And we are going to go to combat. I will attack with a Soaring Sandwing and the top of the Primal Dawn. When it attacks, have it fight the ant. Why you hate my ant? And then the top of will swing for a total of eight. And the Soaring Sandwing will swing for a total of three. I'll block each one of them with my fairy. My two fairies that I have up, I'll take seven. I will pass turn. Untap. We're going to draw, draw, tree, three for command sphere, tap it for floating mana sack it and draw a card. Play my commander to get the most commander tax. Swing big fairy in the air at you for, wait, how big is your... Oh, it's indestructible. It's got vigilance. Bullshit. You're bullshit. Swing three. big fairy at uh, Aestis in Defiance for 20. One. Okay, I will block it. Excellent. And Pass main... turn. Kill me! Let's play planes. Untap all the stuff. Oh god, no surge to plash your mana up. Let's tap and play God's Willing on the top of give it protection from green. Go to combat, swing with everything. GG! The splashiest play. The splashiest play of the game. That's right, maybe. I'm gonna give two points to Kink for your glorious uh, Chaos Warps. Both of them. You were really uh, putting in the work to deal with a hexproof, indestructible commander. Not just once, but twice. It was quite beautiful. Backup point is definitely going to ace this for the surprise egg 6-6 six, six block. It was turning that egg and blocking G-Man's attack, I think. That's what that yep. was. Yeah, that's going to get my two <laughs> points right there, baby. That's splashy AF. So I will have to, you know, give it to the monkey fight each other. That was... Mwah. My splash points are going to go to Wiz decking himself out. Thank you. Thank you. Big egg surprise. Mm -hmm. Aces did to me. Big egg surprise. That sounds like it'd be delicious. Big egg surprise. <laughs> Send us recipes for what you think big egg surprise would be, chat. I don't know if I feel comfortable with it. <laughs> we might have a tasting bottom. test. I think my two are going to probably have to go to Wiz for the recursion play, bringing back the um, call winder. 
that's the one. Doing that to give it to Kink so that he could use it to get the to, to do another cycle of getting the top off the board. Mm -hmm. That was nice. And one point I'm going to probably have to I also think the monkey fight was really good. So one more point to Guitar Man. What's chat voting for, though? Well, it looks like the results are in, and chat has voted for the egg block. Giant egg surprise. Egg surprise. Chat yes. votes for egg. That'll go to best theme, starting with Wiz. Best theme is definitely, in my opinion, going to Kink. He played Kogel and Yudaro and smashed things with Monkey, and then used a monkey removal spell to eat all of the problems all game. It was awesome. Pretty fair. Um, and then backup point, I'll give it to Guitar Man. Uh, I think if we hadn't kneecapped you when we did, you would have had a very big and very scary horde of dinosaurs. You're very consistent about it. I think I'm gonna have to give it to the uh, Ferrari dinosaur. The one point to the uh, lesser model, the Supra dinosaur, being the top. Ferrari uh, being a dominus. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. For the amount of the amount of <laughs> you know the amount of features that come with your dinosaur, that Indominus <laughs> Rex was fully lo loaded. The Talpa is like you know the mid range, and then you know Blue Loyal Raptor. You only had a couple keywords and plus words. That's the Econo model. I love monkey swinging dino around so king's gonna get those for those points wiz was going pretty crazy with consistently putting keywords on your commander quite literally comes out with keywords already on it it's just so i think i'm gonna have to give it to wiz i see how it is two points to guitar man because i did see what was about to be a thing and if not for the fact you can't get something to the dirt then actually it absolutely would have been a problem and just crap loads of raptors swarming on the board like i, I saw you yeah i suppose i'll give the fucking one point to the keyword rifle yeah we got a good couple chat votes we got a vote for g-man we got a vote for monkey we need chat to kind of figure it out last call for chat votes chat they figured it out it's g-man and of course one for egg nobody had egg oh, get out of here most valuable card going to his i think appetite for the unnatural for a three mana removal spell was a kind of a powerhouse this game then i'm gonna give the backup point to armored ascension yeah that worked let's just go ahead and get into it since i'm having to show chat everything going on here uh fix your goddamn widescreen not being default bullshit every time i'm getting fucking exiled after we every click time. it this is fucking stupid deeply unfortunate Fuck you, Wizards of the Coast. Anyways. Most valuable card that I now can't look at the list that I was scrolling through for chat to look at because I've been exiled twice, thanks, Wizards of the Coast. I'm going to go for Mask of Avacyn for being number one, uh, giving hexproof to the thing. Uh, it really could have gone to the boots as well, but the mask was there first, being the problem first, so let's just go ahead and give it to that. It Winding Constrictor is getting the most counters. valuable card points. Chaos Warp and Mask of Avacyn. We wrote one, yeah, definitely gonna have to be Chaos Warp. One point, two, inevitably something G-Man did. I had a card in my head, but I can't remember what it is anymore. Chat is voting for the Winding Constrictor. Snack. Egg and uh, Snack. Chat love. Egg and Snack. It's time to see who's winning and not so winning. This match of who's leads it anyways, season 10, match 11, the finale. Vo, tell us. The finale. We've got coming up the rear we got g-man with 21 second place it's a tie with 30 points for wiz and kink hey good game kink gg which means winning this match this season finale it's gonna be aces with 32 yeah that's kink. close how will that affect the standings going into the bonus stars final standings going into bonus stars is vo with 32.6 kink at second with 31.4 whiz at third with 30.6 daff on fourth 29 aestis on fifth with 27.4 then we got Vinyl with 24.6, Fishy with 24, and coming through here, we got G-Man with 23.4. But wait, 
There's more. There's bonus stars, baby! Now, the bonus stars chat, for those of you who don't know, are secret categories that we do not really talk about, but they are sometimes things that might be special to the season that might be tracked. Some of them are pretty standard that uh, we've kept every season, just as, like, general bonus stars. This season, I believe there are upward of 20. There's a lot of points up for grabs here. You know what it is. It's nonsense around here. First bonus star for splashiest play. It's gonna go to Mr. Wizard Lizard <gasps> with a average of 7.4 splashy points per game. Damn. Quite high out of 9. 7.4. Nice. It's quite high. That's I want to dedicate these stars to the flicker spells in my deck. <laughs> It really carried me through and drew me a lot of cards. Thank you so much. And the runner-up for that category is going to go to Vo with a 6.6 .6 splashy points per game. Next up Very is the Vorthos star. This bonus star with an average of 5 Vorthos points a game is going to go to Kink with his monkey. Whoopie-doo! You did monkey. And the runner-up on this is going to go to... Wiz with four theme points per match. The next star is the most valuable card, which is going to go to Aestus with 4.8 points per game. I got a star. Oh, yeah. The most you can get on that is six, so yeah, it's pretty good. The runner up on that is going to go to Vo and Def with 4.6 points per game. Boo. Then we got one we added in this season, uh, maybe the last season, because we're going to be changing the help of player cards in the future, but this is for the most help of player cards played per game, or points earned per game. I have a guess. Yeah, what's your guess? <laughs> My guess is Fishy. Fishy? Oh, yeah. Good lord. You, know, you might would think that Fishy would win this, but actually... Daff is going to win this, playing an yeah. average of three and a third help of player cards every game. Or, I guess, not that. Two and three quarters something. Almost three cards a game. Almost hitting it every game. And the runner-up on that is actually going to go to Aestus with 4.8 points per game on the help player. That's very really good. <laughs> then we've got some little bonuses here related to this season. We've got the Apex Predator, which is the most fight spells, or the most destroying cards with fight uh, abilities. It's going to go to Wiz with a perfect score of four, getting all the fight points through the whole season. The run-up's going to go to Kink with 3.6, missing, I guess, one fight at some point. Then we've got one egg is 40 eggs which is going to go to Bo and vinyl with 3.6 egg points per game the runner up there is going to go to fish with 3.2 ah. then we've got our uh fan favorite which we're going to give the two points to vinyl and fish both getting four chat votes. Lots of runner-ups. The runner-ups going to everybody else with three. Chat was just very indecisive. They loved everybody, the whole crew this season. Final star, the happening star. It's going to go to G-Man with an uh, average of coming in third each game. <laughs> the runner-up on the happening star is going to go to Aces coming in just better than third each game. Yay! <laughs> Let me have this! Well, that sounds like I'm a lot of stars. Well, that's definitely going to shake up the standings. How are we looking after bonus stars for Season 10 of Whose League Is It Anyways? Start from the bottom, coming up the rear. We got G-Man with 26.4. Just ahead of him, we've got Vinyl with 26.6. Ooh. So close. Very close. Just ahead of him, we got Fishy with 27. And we got a little gap here. Going to go up to 5th place. It's going to Aestus with 32.4. 4th place going to Daphios with 33. 
which means, boys, the top three. Third place with 36.4 points. Going to go to Kink. Whoopie doo! Second place with 36.6 points. It's going to go to Wiz. Which means he's back, baby. Bo is going to get first with a 37.6. A 1.2 point spread in the top three. There you have it, ladies Whoa. and gentlemen. Your season 10 Who's League champion, PTW Vo. That means Vo will be choosing what is going to be drafted from in season 7. Uh, Wiz will be making a deck building restriction, and I guess I'll be making a point category. Woo! I reckon that'll wrap up Season 10 of Whose League Is It Anyways? Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us this season, but do not fret. Season 11, I'm sure, will be coming very soon. Like this video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad-free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. <laughs>